most honourable morning I've ever had anyway. <laughs> 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 Class, eh? Uh, Makes it all worth it. I've just, um, if you, I can't sleep. I, I've hardly slept about this last night with these young lads. You see, if they, um, I've had three messages now, three messages from people who wish to remain anonymous, saying that one of these young lads has been discharged over this. If that turns out to be right, if you're that young lad and you've been discharged, I promise you I'm not going to leave you out hanging on this. I'm going to do everything I can to support you. Just if, if you know the kids, get in contact with me. And if you're ex-military, there's only, I know, there's one ex-military who I completely respect and, and watch and, he's, and he speaks honestly and I listen to him. It's Richard Kemp. People like this, you need to comment on this. People have got to talk on this. I know it's going on all the radio shows today. Those kids are about 17, 18 years old. My activism started 10 years ago when they were seven years old. They are not even gonna know about my activism. They're not gonna know about my life. They're not gonna know much about me. All they're gonna know is that I was that journalist, because they're 17. I was the journalist who got wrongfully and unlawfully put in prison for, for talking about Muslim paedophile gangs. That's all they're gonna know. So when they've seen me and they've, and they've had a photo, that's their level of knowledge on me. Yeah? It's not political. They've just seen someone and they've wanted a photo. And so what if they did? We are now, we're at 30,000 sig 30, signatures. The British army and the public and everyone, politicians should be talking about this. Everyone should be talking about this. I'm, I'm upset, I'm upset that, 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 that some of these kids' careers, probably years of wanting to join the army, can be jeopardized in any way for simply having a photo. It's insane. What is going on? So I'll put the link again on this. Share it. Share it everywhere. They need to see that there will be public outrage that if they think they're going to fire these kids and discipline them. What has happened? And, and do you know why we're disciplining them? Because the Muslim Council of Britain weren't happy. The Muslim Council of Britain weren't happy. Why is there even a Muslim Council of Britain? Let alone dictating to our armed forces, to our army, and then I've seen the advisor, the Muslim Imam advisor to the British Army. The Muslim Imam advisor? What? What are you all about? Insane. How are we pandering? How are our army pandering? Our, our leaders, not the army, because I know no one within the rank and file would care and would expect, it, it, would, you, would this be happening? Would this be happening? And what? Oh, it's just done my head in. It's absolutely done my head in. So, I put the petition on here, share it, sign it. It can't be allowed to happen. And there has to be a whole shitstorm brewing if they try and discipline these kids. Because that's what they are, they're young lads, young men. It's just done my head in. So, oh man, anyway. Have I? I don't care. Does, it, does he care? No, he won't. Does he take us? All right, Sam, see you later. This, I have spent from first thing this morning until literally just two minutes ago, non-stop, I've been on my phone all day. I've had people who are serving for our armed forces ringing me and contacting me non-stop. People telling me about the morale in the armed forces. People, before I go into it, let me just read this one. I sometimes wonder if the top brass, who are like politicians, who, in comparison, this one being told as well from the members of the armed forces, who have never been on the battlefield, who are highly educated, who are more like politicians than soldiers, if they are really that out of touch with the feeling of their troops, it's like our politicians, they're that out of touch with how we think and how we work. And, and I think it's just, from talking to everyone, it's exactly the same in the armed forces. They have come crushing down on a young recruit. A young recruit who's been in this training process, who's been getting screamed at 
as he works as hard as he can. As he's, and he's probably had, a, as the other lads have just told me, he'd have had dark times in that training process where he thinks, is this what I want to do? As he struggles with his training. And he's prepared and was willing to give his life to the armed forces. And some privileged man at the top has decided that because he shared a selfie, that he can take all that opportunity, all that life that he was going to lead away from him. Now, whether they ask that out of touch, if you can read any comments, I'm reading all the comments. Read the comments from members of the military, ex-members of the military. I'll read one here. Tommy Robinson has more support in the British Army than Theresa May. Be warned, if you start to prosecute soldiers for their support of him, you'll see something happen you cannot control. As a former British paratrooper, I'm telling you straight, we underwrite you. He then goes on to say, in a democracy, TR should be allowed to say what he wants to say based on his own experiences. None of the soldiers, trainee or otherwise, are entering some dodgy parallel political force. They serve the crown, but attacking them because of a picture with a British citizen. Really? Now, what they're saying is, because none of them have backed this up, I've actually got it on authority and I've got evidence of this, that today leading, leading members of the military have been briefing all of their soldiers all over the country to tell them that they're not allowed to follow me on Facebook. And any of them that want to share my views, there's no place for them in the army. What are my views? No one can tell me the problematic thing it is that I say or do that causes this problem. This is simply dancing to the tune of, I saw Majid Nawaz actually commented this earlier. He linked the Muslim Council of Britain and the ones that the, the British Army are dancing to their tune. They're the ones that are sacrificing this young lad because of their complaints. Actually, in the briefing, the, the, the representative in the army said that they have to keep the Muslim community happy. They have to keep the Muslim community happy. So this young kid, his career's taken away from him to keep the Muslim community happy. Because of course we can't allow for them to be unhappy. Now, one thing I've taken from today, which is actually I think is quite dangerous and it's not good. I'm a British citizen and I think that we have to have a strong British armed forces with great morale. I have been on the phone non-stop hearing horror stories of the feeling amongst members of the armed forces. The feeling, not just over this, 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 but this could be the final straw for a lot of them, that they feel, what, what, what they, I'll actually just tell you exactly what this lad just said, and I know that him and all the other lads are watching this. So, all right lads, how you doing? And um, we'll catch up at some time, but I'll just, uh, you might lose your job for it. So, he said that if we went to battle, if we went to war again soon, then he believes many people would not go to war. Many of the people who are serving have had enough. And that maybe they could send the silver spooned leadership who are currently sacrificing this young man and the young men that would be on the front line, maybe they can send them over to handshake Mohammed or Abdul on the other side and meet them. They're actually quoting his words. But thats I just think that it's a very dangerous situation and a very, you want to have a strong armed forces with a strong morale and they're understaffed, undermanned, treated like shit. And now when you mix all of that with the political correctness in the middle of it, the British army are young are, or have always been predominantly tough, working class, English men. That's what they've always been. That's what they are now. No matter what way they want to paint it, no matter what way they want to do it with all their inclusive diversity and flying rainbow flags from all the military barracks, there's always been gay people. No one's against gay people being in the army. But this massive push and drive for LGBT, and not just LGBT, but transgender, all of this within the armed forces, which is a predominantly, as I said, a tough, straight, working class force of men ready to fight to protect all of us. And um, the morale, if even on just their, their, their um, 
recruitment videos and I know there was a big backlash thing because I received thousands of contacts and emails from people who were fed up, people who were actually wanting to leave. I actually had some people saying that the armed forces wanted to strip their forces again by another 10,000 and the easy, easiest way to do that was their recruitment videos because so many young men would have said, I've had enough of this now, which this probably, this incident that's just happened today would add to that. But that's, that's it. I just wanted to, I think the more people I'm speaking to in the armed forces, the more, the more people I'm speaking to them, find now and I just wonder if really this decision just lo just like the decision to imprison me for giving facts that were already in the public domain that hugely backfired on the establishment hugely backfired I think this decision is going to hugely backfire in the process already and I know that by the contact and the amount of serving soldiers that are constantly contacting me. One serving soldier today has been fired and kicked off of his barracks because he contacted me. You can't fire and kick them all off and sack them all because I mean literally hundreds and hundreds are contacting me today. So, yeah, I just really wonder if you're really grasping the feeling in amongst your own recruits. Again, Good night, and um, there'll be more updates tomorrow. We're at 107,000 signatures on a petition in less than 24 hours. That's huge for petitions, as far as petitions go. Huge. Bigger than any, well, most of the petitions that get headline news everywhere. So, and you've already seen the, yeah, anyway. Um, People have it enough, not just in the military, of course, this whole country. I sense that everyone I meet and everyone I speak to. And it all comes down to an agenda to, to silence people, free speech. How can a soldier, how can a member of our armed forces not be allowed to take a... Well, I'll ask again, which I say, what is it I've done? What is it I've done? I've been convicted of no hate crime, no racism, no extremism, ever. What is it I've done? The, what this is about is attempting to make me, because I think they fear the groundswell of support that's grown and the, the movement that has been built, and I think they fear it. In fact, I know they fear it. And this is about making a, me a pariah that is untouchable for many because of your jobs. They want you to be worried and scared of losing your job so that you'll stay away or won't want to be associated with me because most people will now say, look what happened to the young recruit. He lost his job for being photographed him. You can't go near Tommy Robinson. You can't show support for Tommy Robinson. In fact, I've got it with evidence, which will come out tomorrow, that their leaders are telling them now you can't follow him on Facebook. You can't follow him. Now, a lot of people are going through the, the, the guidelines within the military that say you're not allowed to be members or, polit or political organisations um, or prescribed political organisations. I am not a political organisation. I'm an individual. I'm a journalist who reports news and brings the news to people. I'm not an organisation. I don't see the problem. I'm just a citizen, a British citizen. And in fact, if you read, if you read, I think I went through this earlier. If you read the, I started going through and having a read on the, on the website 